In the previous video, we took a look at how to create custom poses for our character. In this video, we're going to just take a quick look at how we can also create some still image renders in Character Creator. Uh, usually, your characters are going to probably be bringing them into something like iClone and working with them further there and perhaps doing renders there. Uh, but Character Creator as well does have some render capabilities too. So we'll take a very quick look at that in this video. So this is where we left off on the previous video. We worked on posing this character that was created in Character Creator. And um, you can see I'm already in this stage tab here. What I wanted to point out about the stage tab is uh, that you have some very similar options to um, to options that you have in iClone. Uh, maybe not quite as many, but you have uh, a number of different options for working with, in this uh, case, the stage, the environment where your character is. So you can see that uh, just like in iClone, uh, we've got some uh, presets here for different types of lighting, which can be quite nice. See, we've got this uh, backlighting example here, for example, uh, or we can get this light with a strong uh, directional light source, let's say. It, it might still be a spotlight, but it's coming from this uh, direction over here, uh, which is uh, having the other side of the character in shadow, for example. Uh, I recommend trying out these different presets. We also have some image-based lighting examples here that you can also very quickly and easily apply to your character. We've got, for instance, a three-point lighting setup. Uh, we've got some that have uh, some uh, images used for the uh, IBL lighting. I'll try focusing on our character here, let's say. Try out some of these other examples here with some different environments and different lighting that comes over with it. And we've got a number of other lighting setups too that focus on the face, the full body, as well as uh, some backlighting examples. Uh, to try out this, uh, some of this backlighting, let me go ahead and go to my scene, and I'm just going to uh, get rid of some of this stuff here. Actually, we'll just hide that uh, and get rid of our light here and try that again. I'll go back to content, and we'll drag this on here. You can see that it's applied it. Uh, however, however, we're still getting, I believe, uh, our IBL lighting on there. Let's just turn that off and see what kind of effect we get. And there you go. Maybe we just want to decrease that. Now, uh, besides the lighting, there's also some very quick uh, camera uh, placements that we can do. These are just some uh, presets that might get us to where we want quickly. Um, now, our character's not sitting on the, uh, on the floor right now, but if he were, then this could be a good camera shot, for example. Um, we might want to pick one of these ones that's more like a standing view. Uh, and again, that could be a really good starting point because we can still come in here then and uh, adjust the camera how we want it. Uh, in addition to the cameras and lights, we also do have some uh, props in here. Uh, for instance, we've got some uh, room objects here floor objects, walls, uh, as well as some other objects, a sofa, for example. 
things that we can perhaps use to, uh, especially if we had a, a sitting pose, this could be really nice for our character, put the character into a sitting pose and then have the character uh, on the couch here. Um, so main takeaway from that is that you do have some opportunities within Character Creator itself to create some nice renders. Now, uh, before we uh, do the final part where we'll actually create a render, uh, just thought I'd show you this real quick. Just like in iClone, we can really do a lot with our lights and we can get it to behave uh, similarly to real world lights. So what I want to point out to you here is that I have a um, I have this, this blue plane that I've placed here. Uh, and we have a strong light source coming from uh, our right, from the character's left. So what I'm trying to do here is have the light hit this blue surface and then reflect back on the side of the character that is currently uh, in shadow. So let's go ahead and take a look at that real quick. Uh, what I'm going to do is uh, come over here to the Visual tab. We were in the content tab before. I went over to the visual tab. Uh, here we have all our settings for our lights, just like an iClone. And if we click on this fourth icon over here, we have global illumination. Now, currently I have global illumination turned off, so we're not getting that reflection from that surface here. But notice that as soon as I turn it on, we have uh, this, we have the light coming from, uh, again, from our right, reflecting off of the surface and then back on to the character uh, on, on the character's right side. Uh, so that we get that uh, bounced blue light happening. Now we can decrease or increase uh, that effect very easily uh, by adjusting the bounce strength. And because I just applied a color to that object, uh, and I currently have the um, uh, object selected in my, uh, in my scene here, uh, we can come in here and we can experiment with that bounce light by changing the color of that object itself. I just made it this really strong blue, but if we were to just shift it over to uh, some of these other colors, like this more uh, kind of oh lunar greenish color for instance and we apply that you'll see how that will affect the shading on the character we can come over here to these uh, warmer colors as well um, we can adjust the um, saturation of it and we can apply that and you can see that that gives a more kind of warm effect to it as opposed to those colder um, colder colors that we're using before with the blues and the greens and that kind of thing. Uh, but I just thought that that would be worthwhile to show you uh, so that you can start to play around with uh, the lighting to get exactly the effect that you want for your character. So I just played around very, very quickly with the lights uh, because really what I want to show you is how to create that render from Character Creator, which is very simple to do. Uh, and uh, to, to the end, we will go to Render, Render Image. Notice that there are a lot of different uh, frame sizes, some presets we could just manually put in uh, the dimensions that we want our render to be. Uh, however, we can also go to this drop down and select uh, a number of different um, resolutions here. We even have a ultra high definition resolution. Uh, we've got the high, um, the HD 1080p um, resolution, uh, as well as a bunch of others. I'm going to stick with that. I'm going to stick with the HD 1080p. Uh, for my render, uh, we can, of course, select the format that we want it at. Right now it's set to JPEG, which is not going to give me a um, alpha channel. And in this case, I don't think I want an alpha channel. Targa is going to give us an alpha channel. PNG will give us one. Uh, JPEG won't. 
So in other words, the background that I have in my scene is what I'm going to have uh, instead of transparency. So we'll, we'll keep it on JPEG for now. Uh, final render quality. I think that all looks good. So let's go ahead and create our render. So I'm going to go ahead and click on export and we'll just tell it to save to my desktop here and I'll go ahead and export it out. And here it is. Here is my render saved to my desktop. So that's how you can quickly and easily render from Character Creator. Anyway, that's all for now. Thank you for watching.